Has any sand got inside my FT817? After all, quite a few people comment about all the sand around the front panel of it. Let's have a look inside and see if there's much ingress. Most important is the screws you take out don't go missing or you drop them somewhere never to be found again. So I suggest doing it on the ground with a drop sheet and a bowl to put the screws in. You can see a bit of sand just along the edge there. Now this is the top bit. You have to be a bit careful with it because there's wires that are attached to the speaker. Anyway, having a look inside, and it's actually pretty good. Now, what about underneath? Now, having a bit of difficulty getting it off. Maybe this screw here to do with the battery compartment. Anyway, I'll leave it like this. I won't go any further. Note that my battery compartment was empty because I don't use the internal batteries with the 817. Even with the 818, the capacity in them isn't really enough for the type of QRP operating that I do. Normally two, three, sometimes four hours. Overall, given the amount of use it's had, it's pretty good inside. Even though when you look at the back there's clearly holes where sand could have got in, I've generally not used it when it's been blowing a gale and sand is swirling around. But it has had quite a lot of use over quite a few years. so. 
there's the answer. The FT817 isn't perfect, but at keeping the sand out, it's better, I think, than a lot of other rigs, including Ellie crafts that I think have too many holes in them. Now, all that remains is to put it back together, noting that some screws are longer than others. Some also have different styles of heads. Taking a look, there's eight of the shorter screws and six of the longer screws. I'd guess that four of the longer screws would go just behind the front panel where there's the strap clip and possibly the remaining two here in the rear. 